Well, hello. So I have not been doing a lot of work on the uh, wagon behind me because I have been slowly uh, getting everything fixed that I need to actually work on it. Let me show you what I'm uh, going to start with next. Um, I picked up this cheap Harbor Freight sandblaster and when I say cheap it's pretty cheap but it will serve my purposes just fine and I got it for almost nothing. Um, on top of that I needed something to uh, push enough air into that thing to actually work and I was able to find a 60 gallon compressor tank and I added a Harbor Freight pump to it and um, it's got a, a 220 motor on it that was uh, salvaged and um, it's pushing about 18 CFM so that should be more than plenty. Uh, now that I've moved it over here, as you can see, I, this is a standard house garage and um, I don't have a ton of room. So what I decided to do for now is I have ran a 220 line. You can see it in the gray pipe there. And it comes over and drops down. And from here, I'm going to bring it over and Put myself a switch box right here where I can turn or maybe on the other side where I can turn the compressor off and on with a with the switch box and hardwire the compressor in there and then start plumbing the airlines. Uh, what I'm gonna do with the airlines is I'm gonna run the airline straight up and in this section of the wall I'm going to assemble a copper piping system uh, as a cooler and um, and then I will drop the air back down and into my sandblaster. Um, once I have this thing cleaned up and operational, then of course I have to start sandblasting my little parts and stuff. Because uh, the goal is to uh, remove some more of the parts from this engine and I'm going to sandblast them with um, number 80 aluminum grit so that I can uh, uh, Cerakote some parts. And um, I would also like to uh, sandblast a few of the other parts that are on here. And my uh, four-speed manual transmission that's sitting down there, that's, that's going to be all sandblasted and cleaned up and so on and so forth. Um, and, I'll, and I'll do a little uh, show on that when I get this thing all running. So a little bit more on this sandblaster. There's a uh, ton of YouTube videos out there on how to actually make these work. This one here was, was great because a lot of the stuff that I would have to do in the YouTube videos um, has already been done or has been, uh, you know, like these gloves are shot. So I would need new gloves anyway. So I'll go ahead and get a set from Amazon. Um, somebody wired in some uh, <laughs> light sockets here. I mean, they're standard bulb sockets, you can see. I'm gonna take those out and uh, do some LED strips in here. They also wired in a, uh, a light there with um, some plastic around it, I guess, uh, all in an effort to uh, get this box lit up. Currently, it's got the uh, suction going out the side, which I'm going to alter because I want that to actually be the intake and I'm going to block off that top piece, and this is going to be the suction out from now on. Um, I've already picked up a cyclone um, part up there that's going to go on to my uh, shop vac and you can see that they've uh, obviously suffered from this, this leaking and because of that they have covered all the seams in this, uh, this foam that I'm scraping off right now. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this and uh, caulk it and um, after maybe you know get it all cleaned up, the plastic here seems all right. It's got paint all over it. Looks like somebody tried to shoot some paint on this at one point. Uh, I'll get that all cleaned up. Um, 
Yeah, because even though I'm a amateur, I still like my stuff to look, you know, halfway presentable when people come over and so on and so forth. But it should be a good little setup for me. Um, as I go on, I will continue and show you some pictures or video of what I do with this as I go. Um, I do know that one of the things I'm going to deal with is building that um, valve down there for, for doing the sand and um, feeding it to the uh, gun. Um, people say that that is probably the biggest improvement you can make. You can see where they've you know, duct taped the uh, seams in order to uh, keep it from leaking. Um, that's all stuff I can remedy as I take it apart and reseal it. Uh, but for the price, yeah, <laughs> uh, I basically, uh, I basically stole it, um, almost for free, so I can't really complain. It's a good starting point. After that, we'll get to work again on the car, and, uh, you know, this, the sandblasting here has been the whole thing holding me up. Um, I couldn't really progress any further until I got these parts sandblasted so that I can get them painted and and uh, get everything reassembled here. Um, I think the last time I was on the video I was showing how I've started work on the engine bay and cleaning it up. Um, and I'm going to get it prepped and stuff so I can get it painted. Um, now that I've gotten my sandblasters equipment, uh, the next thing will be of course to um, pick up the uh, uh, paint gun and things like that that I'm going to need. I'm going to have to also uh, work on dropping some plastic sheeting down here so when I go and paint the car and the parts, um, I don't paint my whole garage. Uh, that wouldn't be good. Let me zoom out. Um, of course, I'll just move my Lexus out and and uh, move the wagon into the center of the garage and then, you know, drop some uh, three mil plastic all around it and put some fans out the garage door and maybe a fan in the window blowing in you know the garage door going out that'll give me some airflow in here I know it's from the side it's not correct but you know it's gonna be better than nothing uh, I mean I, I have nothing to lose but to test it out and see how it works if for some reason it doesn't work and I, I don't like it I have considered going ahead and just uh, buying one of those um, temporary blow up paint booths that you stick in your yard and um, using that and then of course just reselling it when I'm done um, I'm sure there's other people out there that could use it all right that is my latest update and um, I will post something further when I'm further along